Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, 8.45 a.m. And I woke up on the right side of the bed today. Like, I woke up at 8. I woke up way before my alarm, which is at 8.30. Just doing that makes me feel so happy. Like, I don't know. I, I also took a nap last night. And then I slept early last night, aka 12. And 12 midnight is already early for me because usually I sleep like 1.30 or 2. So re-energized from last night because I need all the help and brain cells and energy I can get today or this week because at work, we have a pitch ongoing right now and the presentation is on Thursday which is two days from now and <laughs> we're not we're like 50% done I literally could not function yesterday like my brain was floating the whole time yesterday so instead of forcing myself to overtime and work I just took a nap rested this is your reminder not to force yourself to be productive guys because sometimes you need to rest so that you can be more energized the next day. I'm gonna get a quick breakfast. I think I'm just gonna get cold crunch. My main task for this morning is to fix or finalize the art direction or branding for the pitch we're doing. Like the visual direction that we want to take the client. I'm just kind of stuck on what visual look we want so that it doesn't look too similar to other brands. Yeah, that's the problem for Eliana today. So, I'm a graphic designer, but being a creative means needing to constantly update my website portfolio even when I'm not looking for a new job. And doing that has become way easier with the help of Udu's website builder, which is completely free, accessible, and easy to use. Here's the website I ended up making. What makes Udu unique is that they have a building block style of design. Just drag and drop elements you want to add to your page and customize it however you want. And that is actually the fun part. My motto was to keep my site clean and minimal. I wanted there to be a lot of space for the eyes to digest my artwork. So I placed huge margins between images, very big but short and sweet descriptions, simple yet underlined fonts, and a dark plus white color scheme to have a good contrast between elements and make things pop out more. I believe a website is about visual storytelling, less text, more images, so I played around with the way I would lay out my posters rather than just dumping all the pictures in one go. I can put them in carousels, grid layouts, by columns, or simply a huge image block, however you want to go about it. Another example is my content creation page. I wanted my visuals to still be engaging, dynamic, and not just slapped on the page. And it's so convenient that Udu already has ready-made mockups of gadgets. Then I customized the cover page template to a fixed parallax to give it that cool effect when you scroll down. And lastly, I embedded my YouTube videos and Instagram so viewers don't have to go outside of my website just to see them. And that's why with Udu, creating a website no longer feels scary. You guys can click the link below to start building your own website for free. Thanks again Udu for working with me on this video. The workday has finished, but surprise, it's not yet over. We have a pitch, as I said, and that means working overtime to finish it in time. I don't want to overwhelm myself or stress myself too much on this, so I'm gonna jog for a bit around our village to clear my head and so that I can get out of this freaking house because I'm just in my desk all day and get some fresh air. Then I'm gonna wash take a bath, then eat dinner, then I'm gonna go back to work. 8 o'clock, 7.45. And by the way, I haven't jogged in like three months, four months, guys. January and February were more of like my vacation months. Like I always went out so much there. So now I'm just gonna treat March as me slowly going back to my fitness era.
Life update, it's 5.30 on a Thursday and my work week has finally ended and yes, I am once again on leave tomorrow because trying to offset my work days because on Sunday, I went to an event and work during the weekend for one of our clients. So I'm gonna take my rest day today. I didn't really vlog today because I woke up with a huge headache. Like my head was spinning for like an hour or two hours. And as soon as I woke up, I worked on our pitch presentation. And now I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna log off and sign up for the week. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, but I know that I'm gonna edit for one of my sponsors, which I'm gonna post this Saturday. In the next clip, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing the rest of the day or for the rest of the week, but I want to rest, okay? I've been so tired. I've been working for the past two weekends. I need to rest, guys. Okay. Hello, my friends. It's the next day, and <laughs> this is pretty spontaneous, but I just got the iPhone 15 Pro Max. <laughs> And 256 gigabytes is the most impulsive purchase I have made for the week or for the whole year. Like, I don't know, I've been going through a rough week and honestly I just really wanted to buy the iPhone 15 Pro anyways because it has a really good camera. Before I bought this, about two weeks ago, I used my friend's iPhone 15 Pro and the camera was so good, especially the zoom. I'm gonna ROI this with all the vlogs and all the content. Sorry I don't have an unboxing video for you guys but here are some clips that I took while I was in Greenhouse. Happy Saturday! Oh yeah, it's just Friday! It's Tuesday and as you can see, I'm in my sports bra and leggings again. I booked the spin class. Don't put that much effort anymore in my outfits when going to a spin class. It's 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. So I'm just gonna eat my breakfast quickly and finish up a bit of work before going to work. And after my spin class, I'm gonna meet up with my friend Zally. And we're just gonna catch up because I haven't seen her in a month. Oh, that's 